Okay, so the funny thing about that second wine is you. I don't know what it is, but all the buses here, like buses from like the late, like the first, like the early 2000s year, they tend to they tend to be new with that wine, but newer adi- newer buses here with the voice gearbox, that wine you tend to hear it later on when the bus gets older. Like MMCs, for example, MMCs I haven't had. I mean, I've heard some MM- MMCs with it, but it's bare quiet at the moment. So we still need to give MMCs a bit of time to age. But buses like Enviro's, Gemini 2's, like, they they tend to get the wine, but it's as the buses get older. But buses like Gemini 1's, you tend to hear that wine when they're first new. Like, B70L's, DB250. Them chassis is right there. You hear the wine on them when they're first brand new, but buses like, newer buses, you just hear it. Like, you tend to hear it when the bus gets older, not when it's brand new. I don't know what what it is, but the first wine you hear on all you hear you hear it on all voice buses. The first wine for a fact. But yeah, what when most buses are brand new, the voice tends to be bare quiet, like you can mainly hear the engine. But yeah, I prefer me personally I prefer the second wine. I love this I love that second wine. I think it's I think it's just music bro. Like it's just interesting, yeah. When you hear the pitch of it against the engine, like it's interesting, like just hearing them two sounds together, and and the fact that it sounds different on some buses depending like the type of engine it has, like it's weird, like it's interesting, man. That's what that's what what I love about Wolf, like how the gearbox wine will sound different on like different types of engines, like bro. Okay, we all know without a fact, yeah, DB two fifty sounds the best with Wolf. We all know that for a fact. We all know that for a fact, obviously, but like. Yeah, it's interesting, man. That's part of the reason why I just love voice, man. But yeah, hmm. Also, that first wine, I'll show you a clip. Because like, on some buses, yeah, mostly the second wine starts to get loud as the bus gets older. But some buses actually get lucky. And it's rare for this to happen, but the first wine that I showed you a clip of will start to get super loud. But it's rare to, it's rare to find the first wine getting loud. More of the time, you'll hear the second wine getting louder the loudest thing in the gearbox but rarely rare occurrences happen where the first wine actually becomes the loudest thing in the gearbox let me show you a video hold on okay cool so number two the thing i would like to speak about next is the gearbox motor now, this wine, yeah, it's the wine that's affected by the speed of the bus. It's not affected by the RPM. And you'll usually hear it when the driver is driving bare slow because it's lit- it's usually activated when the bus is doing low throttles. Like, when the bus is doing low throttles, all the bus is breaking too slow. And you can only he- you will only hear it when the-, when the clutch is unlocked. If the clutch is locked, you will not hear this wine. You only hear it when the clutch is locked. I mean, unlocked, and you only hear it on the first gear. You will not hear it on the. F- I mean, that's tr- okay. If the clutch is unlocked here yeah, and it's on the first, on the second gear, yeah, and the, and boss is just like, let's say boss is just like, you know, did a bit of a low RPM and then he puts the throttle to max here yeah, and the boss just like, the clutch unlocks like automatically to like you know increase the power. Then you might hear the you might hear the that this wine on the other gears, but you'll mainly hear it on the first gear and when the clutch is unlocked. You will never hear it when the clutch is locked because it's designed that way. I don't know. So yeah, let me show you man a clip of this year. Okay, so you know what's weird about this year? It's oddly quiet. Like, some of you man may not even be able to hear this thing at all, but I certainly did. Like, it's very quiet. I've never heard it on a voice bus where the wine is very loud. 
it's usually often quiet. And I don't know what it's there for. I don't know why there's that motor for. I don't know why it's in place. But you can only hear it when the driver does like... Okay, so basically, if the driver does like low throttling, if he presses the throttle like very lightly, then you'll hear it and the bus is moving. If he's pressing the throttle lightly and the bus is moving the, and the clutch is unlocked and the gear is on, it will activate. You'll hear it. But I don't know why. Like, why is it that quiet, man? Like, turn it up a bit louder. Do you get me? Like, Belton Station. So the next thing we will be talking about is the retardo. Basically, the retardo is the high-pitched one you hear whenever the bus breaks, aka slows down. The purpose of the retardo is to help save fuel for when the bus is breaking, so that fuel can, like, just to, just basically fuel efficiency. That's basically why the retardo is there. E for OD10 to have its retarder quiet whereas E to OD is louder most of the time. That's all folks. Stay tuned for part two. <laughs>